Mm. If an online advert requires you to meet the seller on an undisclosed coastal rock formation, then perhaps you should just buy your ostrich meat from another Israel man. Me. I am so wise. Did I finish talking to Gabby? Gabby, I need you, baby, please. This, this c of mine has been unsucked for far too long. You may be like 50. Oh, Greeny, that's you. You looking for something in particular this time? Um, how about fingies? How are you in business? Well, like I said, when you first came in, I still move phones. Just don't worry. Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Improvise, adapt, suck, up, finish. Speaking of actually selling pieces. What kind of customers do you usually get other than me trying to sexually harass the employees, AKA you? Unless the harassment is actually just flirting. So please just tell me that, please, please, please. All sorts. Healthcare ain't exactly the most affordable and often enough, it's something small in the head that's acting up like my chromosome or lack of thereof. A rusted piece, shot, transmitter, etc., etc. You are a bitch. So, most people don't want to, or rather, can't afford to go to the dock over a small male function in part. Well, my... I have to admit something. My cock... I'm not sure if it's a cock. So that's where I come in, or rather, my shop and my parts do. You have a spare one? With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand and instructions, of course, to replace the faulty part. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to fix this. Of course, to each their own. I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. What about if I'm green? Anyways, that's how things have been for the most part of my life. But as of recently, different parts sell. Hmm. What kind of parts sell now? Although I couldn't buy them. Cosmetics. Ah, uh, yes. Fortnite skin battle pass. Cosmetic phone head, yes. I see a lot of young'uns coming in here from time to time looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Slap them on their heads and bam, you got a hybrid head. But why? That, that seems fucking stupid. Nah, it's just them expressing themselves. This fucking toddler. I'm gonna punt them. The breaking down of old social rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new people coming in and old people leaving. I think that's just called the cycle of life. Back in my day, you were what others said you were, and that was that. <sighs> I guess I'm gay, considering what people called me in elementary. Were things simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You know, you knew your roles. You knew exactly what to do. Let the government control your mind, kid. But clean ain't perfect. Just meant folks were suffering out of your shot. Easy to take a beautiful photo when the trash is shoved out of frame, ain't it? The trash was in green, and I'm also green, so I can take a hint. Now folks are speaking up for themselves, and people miss the simple times. I miss the times where I was non-existent. Then God was like, you're fucking alive, and I'm... Fuck, oh, okay. I'm having an identity crisis if you... Well, not identity crisis, more like re, uh, existence crisis. Times were never simple for the folk who are now speaking up for themselves and change is never pure. Be purty. You're purty. Gabby, have I ever told you you're, you're um, the, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen? I think you're also the only woman I've ever seen so far. So, that's a good thumbs up. Out of curiosity, what do you think? I think people should just take what they're given. You know, that seems pretty me of me, considering I was given a green fucking body. Reptilian, somewhat. I'm dead, sir. Oh, don't give me that. <laughs> Your head ain't one of crowns, that's for sure. Don't know what's underneath yours, but mark my words, you ain't so different from them other folk. Uh, yeah, I would beg to differ. If I didn't know better, I'd say you build that head of yours yourself, which makes you the second person I've heard of doing that. Wait, who the, who the hell's the fucking first? Some guy imitating me? Girl imitating me? Mm, I'll take it. One of your customers build a head for themselves from scratch? Well, yeah. 
I ain't no snitch, so for all I'm saying, it's the fella had a typewriter head, wanted to build himself a phone head, recase his eternals. I don't like the wordings of that, especially considering I don't, I'm brain dead. I did that. Wanted his head to be functional, so I sold him each part piece by piece, including that old spare head shell I gave him on the house, as he gathered enough parts to go ahead with the procedure. Man said anesthetics is for pussies let me just rip my head off that's like a surgical procedure and you perform it under yourself but if you don't have a head then what are you looking for for damn it she's getting me new and stuff clearly read up on it for a long time for touching a single part for skin fell out of touch with him sadly but last i saw his operation worked a treat huh guess kind of like the same effect of helen keller touching people's mouths to know what they say Guess he had this, some sort of a similar ability, but you know, he didn't need a head to perform surgery. Couldn't even tell his head was a custom. Sorry, I got cut up in my memory. I got come up in my memories. <laughs> Point is, I've always found the idea of living as something you're not ridiculous, given we have meant the man changing our. You know, fuck you and your weird talking. You're not British, but you're fucking on. You talk weirdly strange lady put your finger down right up my butt humans are just incomplete masterpieces presuming we truly can be considered as such i don't think we're human anymore the fact that we have fucking typewriters on our heads and phones means we've transcended humanity into the plane of digital shit such as typing fuck on my head and giving it to a loyal employee to a walmart because they couldn't provide me with a good sloppy toppy and art ain't ever finished, it's abandoned. Like God abandoned us. He was, he created us, didn't mean to, but he abandoned us immediately when he created us. I would know I met him. Don't ever give up on yourself. We can all change. That's good shit and all, but can you take me to a fun fair? I won't go to the fun fair. Believe me, hun. i I'm flattered. But, nah. I've got a store to manage. I'm afraid. You're, hmm, I'm not sure if you're scared of going or like that the figure of speech of being like, ah, I'm afraid I can't go, or you're scared of me. Either way is acceptable. Is it me? It's definitely me. Nah, I mean. Look, hun. I'm sure you'll find someone who isn't whatever it is that you are. That means a lot to me. That was pretty nice. Keep searching. God knows I get weird customers in here. If you know where to look for them. Just point me in the direction of the weird people. Please. I know one will be bound to take you, so don't give up. I just need to plant my fucking eggs. It has to be you. I crave elderly romance. I need that goosey. Give me the goosey. Well, what I'm craving is paying customers. So if I come back with money. Isn't that just prostitution, though? Don't suppose you're one of those, are you? Shit. Fucking bastard. Right. Thought not. Ask whatever else you need to ask as long as you're out of here for the customers. Which may take a while, granted. A gallium a crown. Who is this man? Is he your husband? Oh, you know. I don't know. The investor man who built the first phone head? Ring a bell? Fella became mayor of this old town, then prezi of this country? He became the fucking president? I know there is a there is a fucking mayor, but a president. Okay, I might need to go in contact with the president. Of course, this was all just before the worldwide dial-up, mind you. If it weren't for him, we'd still have our old fleshy heads and the world would be nothing like it is now. Guess I gotta assassinate the president. You... Do you still have your old head? Yeah. When I was a little gal, whole world had flesh heads. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our home business, sure. Just not mounted on our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. And weirdos having phones on the table plugged into the walls and calling uh, without the phone, without the head. Would I have been considered normal without my flesh phone head? Please tell me yes. Please tell me yes. Please, please tell me yes. Well, no, since we didn't have green skin or six nipples either. God, f fuck you.
Just no machine heads. The world was pretty much the same otherwise. God fucking damn it, I was born in the wrong era. My time was too soon, but the world can't handle that. You say that, but in the olden day, you would have been considered a witch or a monster. Eh, that doesn't sound too bad, actually. And in the future, you'd definitely get a st <laughs> And in the future, you'd definitely get stopped at Alien Customs. Are you saying that I'd be stopped by Alien Ice and asked for my green space card? Because in that case, call me an illegal immigrant. I'm, I think I'm an illegal immigrant now. So don't ask for my papers. But I'm considered a monster now. Am I one? Is that all I... Is that all I amount to? Aren't you, aren't we all just a bit? Hey, that was true. That was fucking facts. Sorry, you got any more questions to ask? I don't want to ask about Calium. Actually, fuck it. I'm asking about Calium. Most of the town did then. When I was a little girl. Did he touch you? Couldn't avoid the fellow when he was campaigning for mayor. And then the president. Something about him was... Infectious. Oh my god. He had the COVID. He had the fucking COVID. He infected you. He just knew what he wanted. He had a vision. A dream. He had a cream. Man was a Metal Gear Rising Revengeance moment. Fella like him. It don't matter what they do or what they go. They just attract power. Sometimes that ain't the best for everyone, though. And that's the last I'll say on the subject. He touched you, didn't you? Didn't he? Did you touch him? He touched- you touched him. You raped him. I'm fine, thanks. See ya. I'm gonna stop doing- you're making- You're making me southern. Now I'm gonna wanna bang my, anyone related to me. Although that's gonna be hard to find considering. I was probably born in a clutch of eggs and my siblings- I, I ate them. I most likely ate them in battle. I'm fine, thanks. See ya. Alright, take care now, you hear? Time to find old people that can't run away instead of cougars like you, even though you were a baddie. Leave the shop.